Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well, so we're back in Horsehaven. Um, so this is one of my brand new horses. This is the exclusive summer horse. One of my friends very kindly gave me a voucher. Um, so I went ahead and I got this horse. It also it means that I can get a couple of other horses that are currently available. This is the tier one exclusive summer. There's also the tier two and the tier three. Um, I do actually have these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those now. So over here, I've got the tier one, two, and three here. We also have a brand new folder that I need to go and grab as well. Um, I think it should be the other gender for the tier three. So I'm gonna quickly show you the tier two. The tier two is definitely not a color variation that I particularly like. I don't know why, it reminds me of like an octopus or something. So um, the I think my favorite out of these three tiers is probably the tier one. And I think I reasonably like the tier two, but this is a bit much for me um, with the color combination. I like the blue, but I'm not a massive fan of the pink on it, to be brutally honest. Okay, and finally for the tier three. So this is the tier three. I reasonably like the tier three, actually. I like the purple. It is quite nice. Um, the only thing I have to say that I dislike about this particular horse is the flowers in the, in the mane. Other than that, I actually quite like the design of it. Um, I think it's quite nice. Um, there's quite a lot of movement to it as well. I like the like the dreads that it kind of has going on. Uh, so this is the female tier three of that that I have. So we're going to go ahead now. We're going to go and collect the foal out of the breeding house that I currently have, which I think is a tier three male. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll go ahead and grab this. So this is the exclusive summer legendary. So yeah, it's a male. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move all of my horses over by one. Oh, maybe I can't, okay. We'll move them around properly in a moment. Right, okay, so here's our foal. So we should be able to feed the foal. I think I have sufficient items to feed it. I don't know if we can insta-grow it, but we'll see. I don't remember if it insta grew the last time for me or not. Ah, no, okay. It's gonna take a little bit more than that. Okay, this should insta-grow our foal for us. Yep, there we go. And now we'll see the one that we were looking at the moment ago, the purple one. So we now have both the tier three male and female for this, which is perfect. I actually managed to get the tier three on, a, on the first roll, which I was very surprised about because that doesn't always happen. Okay, so we've now got our set of horses here. Now, this is the event that's currently going on here. This is probably going to end soon. Um, now we have horse racing, stable chasing quiz event. I've already done um, most of these. I'm going to go ahead and do another one here. So that's all of the things collected from that. The other ones are the horse racing and steeple chases. I have some treasure boxes here. One thing I will just uh, mention here. Um, I already have all of the horses from this. I haven't bred them. I probably will do that um, soon. Obviously we bred Vita last time. Um, I also got what else did I get recently? I finished the mermaid recipe the last time. I haven't got it yet. Also got Ancient Consort. Um, Victory Derby was another one I think I unlocked as well. I already had the Isabel Derby because uh, currently the chances were Victory Derby, or yeah, Victory Derby, Ancient Consort, and Isabel Derby. And I was already had Isabel Derby. So I've already got all the puzzle pieces. So I've just been doing this purely to get um, diamonds that sometimes this will drop instead. Okay, so we've completed all of the horse racing, super chase, and the quiz event. So these were the two packages that I got with the voucher. So this obviously gives us 50% more, and this gives us 50% more. And the milestones, the first one gave us a pink memory hat, the next one gives us a delicious trolley. After that we got 150 diamonds, followed by a pink memory saddle. And then for the 5,000 we got 500 diamonds. Um, so that is the event itself. So now what we're going to do is have a look at the exchange. 
So here within the exchange, uh, in the anniversary section, we have gratitude that we can purchase. We have knight. I already have knight, so that's not going to be one I'm going to get. We have Dalian Derby. We have Champ Derby. We have uh, Kamari Derby, the Shetland Pony, the Ancient Consort. We have the Maddie Event Horse. We also have um, the Eddie Event Horse. Free Strike uh, Derby. Clown, which I already have. Cowboy, which I already have. And then this one, which I already have. And then we all after that we have sa uh, uh, tax sets like the pink memory saddle, dazzle saddle, white knight saddle, colorful saddle, then the pink memory hat, dazzle hat, white knight hat, colorful hat, earthquake, uh, shin guard, leg boot, blue shin guard, rainbow, magic purple, earth, lake, rainbow, bridles here, magic purple, earth saddle, lake blue saddle, rainbow saddle, and magic purple saddle. Then after that we've got uh, ranch decorations. Then on the other side here, obviously this being the five year anniversary, there's quite a lot of stuff going on. Then we've got the constellations. So we have Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, which you already have, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. So we're going to focus here on the anniversary ones to start with. Um, don't know if I'm going to get any constellations at all. Right, the first one that we're going to go ahead and get is we're going to go and get one of, if I can find it, the Restrike Derby. So we're going to get the female Restrike Derby here. So let's exchange. Be sure you want to buy Restrike Derby one. Yes. Okay, so that's given us an elite of that. The next one that I want to get is the Eddie Event Horse. So, Eddie Event Horse, where are you? Okay, so we're getting a female Eddie Event Horse. Okay. Okay, we've got our female Eddie Event Horse. After that, I want to get the Massey Event Horse. So let's have a look for that. Um, right, Massey Event Horse exchange. Yep. Okay, then I want the Kamari. Right, the Kamari Derby. So this one here. Exchange that. Okay, then what's the next one we want? We want the Chomp Derby, so we're gonna go with this Chomp Derby here. Exchange, yep. And then we want the Dalian Derby, if I can find the Dalian Derby. Okay, there's the Dalian. Okay, so we're gonna have a quick look at all of the ones that we've just lifted. And then I think I have enough points for one more possibly or am I just short? I think I might just be short. I might have to get more points tomorrow because there was one day that I missed points on unfortunately but we've got all the ones that I had on a list. So the ones that we got out of those Maddie, Eddie, let's see it was the Restrike, the Eddie, the Maddie, the Kamari, the Champ and the Dalian. So we'll go out of there for now. So your stable is empty, hurry and put a horse on it. Okay. So here's the ones that we have, as I said, the Restrike, the Eddie, the Maddie, the Kamari, and the Chomp Derby. Um, so we've got like a good amount of horses there. I haven't just quite decided which is the last one that I want to get. I think, as I said, I don't think um, I have enough except for maybe one more if I'm lucky. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the tack or anything like that. Um, right, now we're going to put the Kamari out here. All right, so leave that one there. Right, and then we'll put the Dalian out there as well. Do I have any space? I don't really have any more space right now. So there's the Kamari and the Dalian. So we're going to go have a look at these ones. So the first one, obviously, being the Dalian. So here's the Dalian. So how to breed. Obviously, we've just got this one. That's the Elite, and then finally the Mythic. I really like the look of the Mythic. It looks like a really nice horse. That is something that I would like to, to work on, I would say. And um, then we'll have a look now at the Kamari, which is quite nice looking. Um, I'm curious to see what the other tiers will look like. So let's have a look on it. Um, so here's Kamari. So Let's see, so there is the tier 2, I like the male in the tier 2, and there's the tier 3. I think I like the tier 2 more than the, the legendary tier 3, but they're still quite nice. So, the next thing we need to do is like make space for the other ones, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make space for the other ones. 
I do have some horses which are very easy to breed, which I'm thinking I could sell um, in my breeding house to make space for these ones because I would like to get these all placed. We need another four stalls, so we would actually need to put these ones in out of the road maybe for the moment. Um, let's see. I think if we're going to do that, we need to see what's in here. I don't know if I have any of these ones that need their... Um, Okay, this is two spaces in here already, which is good. So if there's two other horses in here I could sell, that could work. Oh, okay, some of these need to level up, so we'll do the spins here. Um, I have been working on a bunch of Andalusians, which I sold just before. Um, I think it was just quite recently, so that uh, I had them at a stage where they were ready to go and earn me some diamonds, because I spent a lot of diamonds um, working on progress and on certain things, so I needed to spend a bit of time to basically level up a couple of tier 1 Andalusians and then sell them so that's what I was doing to earn my diamonds back okay another one there that one would be ready to go as well I want to make sure that any of them I'm going to sell so we need two spaces and I don't want to sell anything unless it has actually reached level 15 unless um, there's one maybe if there's one maybe I would say that is close to maybe being level 15 and we have the space I would like to take the space uh, for one of, one of these horses that we've just uh, purchased So I think we may do that I'm gonna move those exclusive summers. I think just for the time being into the ground stable and uh, then go from there All right, is that was that the last one? It's not my god. There's so many of these horses <laughs> that needed this done this wheel spin I thought I had the wheel spins finished earlier, but clearly not. Right, we've got all of our spins. We've done all of those. Took a moment there to get all those done, but now that we have all of our spins done, we should have some horses here that can actually be freed or sold. Um, I know that's my tier three, so I don't want to get rid of my tier three. Uh, tier one, that's, that's not really ready to go. I'll keep that one for the moment. Um, what's this one? that one can go because it's uh, level 15 and we need like one more space from these uh, no that's one I have to keep so that one can go that one can go Brilliant. okay so we now have the spaces to like move these over okay so we're gonna move on my exclusive summers in here just for the time being um, I'm probably gonna have to I would say Sort out. Some of these horses are probably going to have to be moved. Um, none of these, I think, are ready. They're not there. Neither of those are maxed, and I know for a fact that neither of those are. So we can't sell off the other tiers, right? Okay. Let's get our other horses in here. So let's get a restrike in there. Our Eddie event horse in there. Our Madi event horse, and then our Chomp Derby. Okay, so these are the other four that we are going to have a look at now. So here is our restrike. Ooh, it's got a tattoo on its hind there. That's quite nice. So there's a tier one restrike. Here's the tier two. Seems to have some dappling. And then finally the tier three. Tier three looks nice. I like the look of that horse. That looks like quite a nice looking horse. I really like the fact this one's got like really turquoise sort of blue green eyes. They're quite nice. Right, next horse that we are going to look at is the, I think it was, was it the Madi? No, sorry, it was the Eddie, the Madi's further down here. Okay, so this one's the Eddie event horse. Okay, so there's a tier one. There's a tier two, like the tier two, and there's a tier three. I wish the tier two had been the tier three. <laughs> but it looks like a, a nice looking horse. Um, yeah, I think that should look quite nice. This one's kind of got gold eyes to match its uh, flowers and its mane. Right, now let's have a look at the Maddie event horse and uh, see what its other tiers look like. So this one's this one's got flowers on it as well. They must have done quite a few like this. All right, here's the Maddie. This one has a mane like my ancient um, general. Okay, there's a tier two. That's probably going to be very like my ancient general, except with the flowers on its mane. And there's the tier three. I think that's my least favorite so far um, of all the horses this one the Mali. 
And then the final one I think is the Champ Derby. I think that's the last one that we um, haven't looked at yet. And then we'll take a look at the other ones. Right, so here's the Champ one. This one looks like it's got uh, flowers in it. Yeah, it does. Okay, so here's the Champ. Ooh, I like the tier two. What's the tier three? Legendary is quite nice as well. I think I like both of those. Um, so that's nice at least. It's probably, it's got a very old model. You can tell this is quite an old, one of the older model horses. So it'll be nice to see when that gets an update because they are, they do seem to be working on um, updating a lot of the horses in the time being. So that is all of those ones. Now, there will be one more that I will get. Um, doesn't look like it's going to be Gratitude. I'm not going to have enough to get Gratitude because I would say I'd have enough points to get 6,000 points. So we're going to be forgetting about Gratitude. So if you haven't seen Gratitude, there is Gratitude with the sort of the pink tinges to me. And it is quite nice, um, but it's very, very much like the Gypsy Banner. Um, same model, really. As I said, I already have Knight, so that won't be one that I'll bother with. Um, so Shat and Pony, not going to bother with that. Um, I already have Clown, I already have Cowboy, and I already have that one, and I think I also already have, um, yeah, I already have Ancient Consort too, so we're not going to bother with any of those. Gratitude would have been nice to get, but I'm just not going to have the points. I just missed that one day. It was just one day I logged on too late um, to get the points, and that is, if I think if I had done that, I would have the points to get Gratitude, but I just missed it, so... Looks like it's probably going to be a constellation that I'm going to get. Um, I'm probably going to have to have a look at the tier 3 constellations and pick one based on that because I want to know that whatever tier 3 I end up with, I like. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do because I do have enough points to get one of them. I'm just going to, on the off chance that I do have enough points to get the gratitude, um, I'll not spend my points yet. Just but I don't think I'm going to be able to, unfortunately. I think we're not going to manage that uh, quite at this moment. We should actually be able to see here in our exclusive horses, we should actually know that we've got a bunch of new horses, maybe. Um, do I still get the rewards for getting new horses? I don't seem to be getting... Oh no, it's only for... Ah, okay, it's only for the tier twos, right? Okay, that's that's fair. So, yeah, no, I think um, that is a shame. That is a shame. So, Victory Derby was another one, as I said, that I have um, locked the recipe for. Um, you can see Pampa and Lava Unicorn here. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I unlock the recipe for? The Mermaid. We unlocked the recipe for the Mermaid yet, which we haven't bred um, just at this stage yet. So that's another one that we're going to have to work on. Don't think I have the recipe for that. No, I don't have the recipe for that. But some of these horses do use the same ones. Okay, Alice is not one that I have the recipe for. Some of these I know I don't have the recipe for. Do I have the recipe for this? No. Didn't get Crown. I quite like the look of Crown. It's unfortunate. No, I don't have these. Definitely don't have that. Don't have... Do I have Red Hood? Oh, I did get the recipe for Red Hood. So Red Hood's another one that um, I'll have to try and get as well. We've got a, a decent amount of horses here. Casper Halloween is a horse I still want to get really, really desperately. Um, but unfortunately, we haven't had uh, any luck yet because uh, the puzzle pieces haven't really shown up for him yet. I'm hoping maybe at some stage, reasonably soon, that we should be able to get them. One thing that I just want to quickly rant about, and I want to know, does anybody else, does this bother anyone else? This here the dressage news i have 20 of these sitting okay they don't go away it doesn't matter if i click x it doesn't matter if i click through them if i click go then obviously i have to spend the time going in to view the dressage and then i have to go back and it's just really really tedious and i wanted to have a quick rant about it like why could they just make it that once you viewed them they go away because i hate how many messages i've sent you know got sitting there and then i have to go through them all and it just feels like a complete waste of time. Um, I just, I don't know, it bugs me. It was fine when there was like one or two notifications sitting there, but the fact that there's so many, it just, it, it's annoying me. I really don't like it. Um, the other thing I want to quickly have a look at is the uh, Purebreed Society. So right now we've got the Canadian Pace to the Rocky Mountain and the, I don't know how to say this, Bidoni? 
Budioni. I'm not really sure how you say this, but uh, this one I'm definitely gonna aim to get. I like the look of it. Um, oh, whoops, I clicked out of that, didn't mean to. Then we got the Rocky Mountain. Um, if I get it, I'll be fine. I might not. Canadian Pacer. So this one, right now this tier 4 is the one I'm going to aim for, and then I'll worry about the other ones afterwards. But uh, yeah, I'm reasonably happy with the progress that I've made there. We've got a bunch of new horses to breed now. We are not going to be in any shortage of horses to try breeding. Um, it's going to take us a while, I think. It, it's not going to be easy to do. But anyways, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope some of it. Bye!